Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. This is kind of a new style video I haven't really posted in a while, but I want to start posting again, so give me your opinion if you like what I'm doing here. So, I'm a big fan of IndyCar, I've kind of got into it for the last few years, and I just wanted... So, IndyCar just announced they are removing double points from the 500. I just kind of wanted to give my perspective and opinions on it. So yeah, I just wanted to say how I kind of feel about it. Like, I've... As I've been saying, I've been watching it for a few years now, and I do think double points on the 500 is really special because, like, for example, last year when Marcus Ericsson won the 500, it was kind of like, wow, this is amazing. It kind of gave it gave him the momentum to be able to fight for the championship for, for a while. Then he did drop off later on, but it was pretty, it gave him a pretty good opportunity to fight for the title. And then to add to that point too, like the Indy, the Indy 500 is really special because it's very unique in a way that, like a normal race weekend, you have you know a few qualif a few practice sessions, a qualifying session, then you have a a race that's I don't know 60, 70 laps depending on the length of the track. I don't know, I think they're like 300 mile, not 300 mile, like 200 miles. I can't remember the exact length of the courses, but anyways, so well, obviously the Indy 500 is a 500 mile race, what's well, quite a long race. And then before the race, you've also got the You've got the huge preparations, is it a week or two weeks? I can't, I'm, I can't remember the top of my head right now, but... And then you've got the extensive qualifying, which is not just, you know, it's not just the thing. You have to do these special runs where you have the two lap average or three lap averages, whatever it was. So yeah, I do think the double points is there, but then, you know, the double points only got introduced in 2014, so it's a fairly new thing. So I do see the other side of it, like... I mean, for all these years, for the other years before 2014, why why do we need double points? I don't know. In my opinion, I do think the double points helped the Indy 500 beco to become more special in the sense that it was more valuable to win it. I know before, like, the only reason you wanted to win the race is because, you know, you would, it was the Indy 500. It was the most legendary race of all time. It was up there with, you know, it's one of, it's, one of the biggest races of the year amongst all motorsports even if you don't like indycar it's an insane race like for example i i live in an indiana and around indiana it the whole race is special you'll you'll have people like will have indy 500 flags outside their house what well, don't even watch indycar they couldn't even name any driver well they could name like mario andretti but they probably don't even know he's retired but it's just kind of the, the 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 bubble around the Indy 500 is so special. And I just think the double points should stay, in my opinion. So that'll, that'll be about it for the video. So if you, if, tell me what you think about it. Like, I want to know, does everyone, else, does everyone else like the double points? I don't know. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to leave a comment about your thoughts and like the video. Please let me know if you like this style of video. I'm kind of thinking of getting into more news related videos, especially around IndyCar. Because there is a few IndyCar news channels, but there isn't that many. So I wanted to, you know, see if you guys are interested in that. So yeah, I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.